my name is Philip Medicus. I'm the designer of the Prion 6 and today I will give you some insights into the development of the Prion 6 and into some technical features. Compared to its predecessor, the Prion 5, we have changed quite a lot of things. For example, we have changed the airfoil, we have slightly increased the aspect ratio, which helps the performance to increase, and we have changed the internal structure quite a bit. We have added uh, some diagonal rips, we have added some tension straps inside the glider, and both of this increases the rigidity of the wing. So you have a more solid feel, you have a more solid glider, and you also have a more precise feedback and more precise handling of the glider. During the development of the Prion 6, we have heavily focused on the stability of the glider. We ended up with an airfoil that has proven to be very stable in turbulences, and one key aspect to get there was to produce as much lift as possible in the front section of the glider. I can improve this property already in the simulation. I can try different airfoils and see where they produce the lift, which is indicated in the blue color. Here you see an airfoil which creates the lift more in the back and another one which creates the lift more in the front, therefore leading to higher load on the A-lines. This means in more simple terms, if you have a 100 kilogram takeoff weight, more than 70 kilograms will be on the A-lines. Rest on the B and C, obviously. On the Prion 5, this value on the A-lines was closer to 60%. This has uh, two consequences. One is it's quite difficult to uh, collapse the Prion 6 by pulling the A-risers because you have to pull against a lot of load. And more importantly, it's also difficult for the turbulence to collapse the Prion 6. We have also focused a lot on the stall behavior of the Prion 6 since this is one major safety issue for uh, any glider actually and even more for an ENA glider and the Prion 6 really shines in that regard. One thing is uh, you have to pull quite far until the glider stalls but maybe even more importantly the brake pressure increases a lot. So even for a beginner or less experienced pilots, it's quite easy to understand when you are about to pull too much brake. And that's true for the symmetric stall and for the asymmetric stall as well. Finding a proper balance between agility of the glider and roll damping of the glider is another really important factor. You do want the wing to fly straight, for example, immediately after you exit the turn, you want the wing to fly straight and not roll and do some unintended shaky movements. The same is true when you fly through bumpy air. You don't want every bump to induce a roll oscillation. And design-wise, we have uh, experimented with different wing curves, with different brake settings, and found a setting that provides both nicely. You can do easily tight, precise turns, but whenever you go hands-off, the Prion 6 really tends to fly straight on its own. The Nova R&D team is really happy with the Prion 6, and we are sure you will experience great flights with it. 